Hello, my name is Hoves, and this video is one of one of my favorite games of all time, Master Makar. Someone on the Reddit named Oleg32454 made an iceberg on the game. I also added some of my own topics on it. If you don't know what an iceberg image is, it is an image that labels certain intricacies about a game. At the top are well known things about the game and going deeper are more creepy and or lesser known topics about the game. So with that information, let's begin. Above the water. My winter car. My winter car is going to be the next game in the series. At the time of making this script, there are not a lot of things known about the game, except for the project car was confirmed in the form of a teaser video on the Royal John Love YouTube channel, and everything else about the game is speculation. Topless Gun said in the Steam community post that it might be coming out in December of this year. AmishTech.com slash MySummerCar AmishTech.com is MySummerCar's official website. The website has all fonts and graphics. The main page hasn't been updated since it was made. The only thing I could find that was semi up to date was the changelog page, which hasn't been changed since January 4th, 2021. Jaco's Suicide Jaco is a character in the game who is also named Kill You Guy because he will buy Kill You from the player at a good price if it is made correctly. Jocko is a drunk and he will wake you from your sleep with a call stating that he is in need of a ride and nobody else is picking up his calls. Once you pick him up, he will conversate with you about his unstable relationship with his wife. One day he will tell you in a drunken rage about his wife and say that he won the lottery and that he hid the money somewhere. Later, when the player finds Jocko's money, he will become angry and will come after you in your sleep, attacking you with an axe. If the player survives, Jocko can later be found hanging from the bridge by Terry's shop. Venti Dealer's Curse In the woods down the road from Fleteri's shop, there is a shack. Late at night, you can go into the shack and play blackjack or venti with the dealer. The dealer has the bodily features of a pig, and if the player wins a hand, the dealer can be heard squealing like a pig. If you talk to grandma, she will tell you that he was cursed and killed his father in a house fire. UFO. On rare occasions, there are three floating lights that can be seen in the sky at night, and even a flying orb in the sky above the mansion. I haven't seen these anomalies in my 300 plus hours of playing the game, but there is a page on the wiki showing pictures and proof of this being real. There is also an ad on the radio that mentioned UFOs in game. A link to a video showing the UFO by the mansion is in the description. Mansion Ghost In the abandoned mansion across a small river and to the right of Flatari's shop, there can be a ghost seen inside. I haven't seen this anomaly either, 
but there has been many people who have claimed to witness it and they claimed it just walked around the mansion and it doesn't interact with the character in any way. Developer preview videos. Topless Gun recorded videos of My Summer Car while it was in development. The name of the channel is Royal John Love, and there are videos of My Summer Car that date all the way back to July of 2013. This channel also showcases some of the developer's other games and random videos. I highly recommend you watch these videos because they are extremely interesting. The link is in the description. Head Deep. johannesrajula.com slash msc This is a website with a lot of links that go nowhere. The author of the Reddit post states that this is even older than My Summer Car's current website. There's not much else known about the website that I could find other than what the Reddit poster said. DRM Pink DRM Pink is an asset that is pink and would pop up if the Steam client was not detected. I assume this was put here so nobody would pirate the game. Flat Out's Mods Flat Out was a mod maker that put harmful DRMs in his mods that would mess with the player's save games and burn down the house. His most popular mod though is a supercharger for the Satsuma. Build 172 Torrent Leak This build of My Summer Car was leaked before the game release. It was put on torrenting websites and the My Summer Car unofficial VK pages. According to the Reddit poster, this caused the chain of events that ultimately put My Summer Car on Steam. A lot of stuff that was removed in the release of the game or in the middle of its life that were found in 172's files. Other entries on the iceberg will refer back to this build. I also put a video of it in the description. Hazi 2 Hazi 2 was a track composed by Dr. Vector. It was in the game in its early stages, but for some reason it was removed. The reason for the song's removal is still unknown. A link for the song will be in the description. Fury Fury was a vehicle that was drivable in development builds of the game. It was removed upon the game's release and was used as a prop inside Fleetary's garage. <laughs> Topless Gun's music career. The creator of My Summer Car, Topless Gun, actually made music. These songs can be heard in-game at Tiamo's shop or on the radio. These songs are actually really well made and I will link my favorites in the description.
A-T-R-O-P-R, Funky Blue Letter. Funky Blue Letter was also a song that was featured in the game during development build, but was eventually removed for no reason. Ghost Doors Ghost doors are doors that are in the player's house that open exactly at 12 a.m. This phenomena does not occur anymore, but is listed in the paranormal page on the wiki. Topless Gun states that this was a bug, but later in the video I will go more in depth into this topic. Sisu Highway Log Truck In early versions, there was a log truck that could spawn in on the highway and be spawned in with the developer command. The player could drive the one that was spawned in with commands. This would be replaced with the beer truck that we have today. NPH Mission Pack NPH Mission Packs were save games that had special objectives. They were made for a Twitch streamer by the name Status USD. The saves were streamed on Status USD's Twitch. Packs and missions are still being made to this day and can be downloaded from the RaisDepartment.com website. Glassinen 1's author. Class Einen is a classical song that plays on the television test screen. Nobody knows who made it, but it's rumored that the songs are made by Topless Gun himself. Bottom of the Berg Uncle Walk Uncle Walk is an unused model in the game. If spawned in, it would be the uncle following the player, smoking and coughing. Similarly to when you talk to him for the Haisukyo or the Gifu. Song 01 to 03. Songs 01 through 03 are songs that were used in early versions of the game, just like Hazui 2 and Class I and 1. These songs are deeper because they are harder to find in the game files of 172. Online leaderboards. In build 172, there was an online leaderboard for the times that players got on the rally race on the weekends. The leaderboard was broken though and bugged, so it was scrapped. Peravi Theater There are files in the game that hint toward a theater in Peravi. It cannot be triggered and can only be spawned in with mods. It features a man in a police uniform and a man that states he is the Finnish president. There is dialogue between the two in the game files. The My Summer Car Wiki has a tab dedicated to the theater and you can read the dialogue there. A link will be in the description. Old versions of Mistamis. Mustamis was different in some pre-release builds of the game. According to the Reddit poster, nobody has the older versions of Mustamis, making it a piece of lost media. Only pieces can be found in old trailers of My Summer Car. Ford W9000 in early builds of the game, the Gifu looked like a Ford W9000. The only difference in the vehicle that you could see was the cab. Ebola Mies 3TII Sty. These were testing tracks for the CD in old builds of the game. Other than that, they were for testing. Nobody knows who made them, though it is speculated that Dr. Vector made them. Debug Mode. Debug mode is a tool that the developer uses to test performance and other features of the game. Every version of the game has a debug mode and it is explained more in depth on a Steam community discussion thread that I'll link in the description. Viruses on the computer In versions of the game that aren't on Steam or have been pirated can cause it to have viruses. If you download games from the Conline BBS, you can have your computer's OS uninstalled and the computer cannot be restored again without the use of saves or MSC editor. Neighbor in Sauna In old builds of the game, a ragdoll can spawn randomly inside the sauna of the house. The creator of the Reddit post states that there are two videos in existence that show this strange occurrence. I couldn't find these two videos, but I did find a page on the wiki that I will link in the description of the video. Also, the gender of the ragdoll seems to be mustard, but nobody knows for sure. White Moose This part of the iceberg is in reference to early videos showing off the game. It showed old textures for the moose. The textures were just white cylinders for legs and an oval body. Beta walking NPCs. 
This is another reference to an old video about the game that shows a white NPC that has a walking animation and from time to time will drink some beer. Kim and N. Utterset. This is a real television station that plays in Finland. In early builds of the game, it would play on the TV before getting changed to what plays on the TV today. The Darkness. Old My Summer Car Guides and Tutorials. Old guides of My Summer Car are pretty common, but one was made on 4chan right after the 172 build was leaked. This guide is rare and I could not find it in my search. There were more leaked builds. According to some testers, there were more leaked versions of the game before 172, but there is no evidence to back this. Save slots. There was going to be a save slot feature in the game where the player would be able to make multiple save games. This was cut and all that's left from this feature is some data in the code. Info about Topless Gun's private life. Not much is known about Topless Gun's personal life, except for posts on the forum and such. I couldn't find anything too interesting. Build 174's highway traffic. According to testers for the game, the traffic in Paravi was only different colored Sasumas, Vans, and Log Gifus. Topless Gun's 4chan threads. Back before the game's release, Topless Gun was talking about the game. There are rumored to be some screenshots of the posts, but they have been lost to time. The only person I could find that stated that they knew 100% these existed was the Reddit poster himself. Other than that, there is nothing else to be covered here. The character is in purgatory. Every time the character dies, he comes back. When you die as a mortal, you have to restart and rebuild the Satsuma and make everything back. It's a never ending cycle. Even when you're immortal, when you die, you come back to life at the church. The house is haunted. This theory can be connected with the ghost doors. Some players have claimed to hear and see anomalies in the house, most prevalent around the parents' bedroom. The video I watched on this topic will be linked in the description. Vetti Dealer Father's Ghost The ghost of the dealer's father can be seen by the burned down house. This house is next to the dealer's house and all that remains is a chimney and some rubble from the fire. If the player goes to the burnt down house sometime after 8pm while looking through a camera, they can catch the ghost walking around. Thank you for watching my iceberg video on My Summer Car. This is my favorite game of all time. The only other games I hold up to this level personally are GTA 4, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, and Counter-Strike. To me, 
These games make me feel nostalgic for different reasons. My summer car is my favorite game though, and it will always be displayed proudly on my Steam profile page. Thank you Oleg for making the iceberg image, and thank you to everyone on the wiki for making it easy to compile information for this video. And thank you to everyone who has made iceberg videos in the past. Those videos served as inspiration for this video. And finally, to Topless Gun. If you are watching, I would love to test my winter car for you. I love your games, and I would seriously be honored to test my winter car for you. Thank you. Tuota... Jukka! Jukka! Miten kauan tarvii tehdä vielä? Miten kauan tarvii tehdä vielä? Jukka! Miten kauan tarvii tehdä? TV-stä tuttu kaunit ja rohkeat jäätelö nyt kaukoissa. Makuina suklaamokka ja cheesecake Amerikan tyyliin. Aa, fantastisen hyvää. Tästä Ritkekin tykkää. Tarviiko Sonnisen lyppyä tai lampaasi törintää? Lomittaja Erkki Armas Hokkanen on palveluksestanne 40 vuoden kokemuksella. Ilkat kädet ja raakat yö. Erkki Armas vaikeudet lyö. Aliviestän ukokontaktihenkilöiden yhteistyöryhmä on perustanut viimein yhdistyksen. Oletko tullut ukojen pieppaamaksi? Tai nähnyt ukoista pelottavia unia? Olipa kokemuksesi millainen tahansa, voit Aliviestän ukokontakti ryn kautta jakaa kokemuksia kaltaistesi kanssa. Ota yhteyttä meihin soittamalla numeroon 245-283 tai lähettämällä yhteistietosi meille postitse osoitteeseen Alivieskan ufokontaktit ry toimittan kuja 4 925 Alivieska. Tarjouksessa vain 65. Tarjouksessa vain 65. Tarjouksessa vain 65. 
Kiitos kaikille luontokutsuuhin seuraajille. Ensimmäinen jakso oli tässä. Jos toinen jakso joskus tulee, niin soittakaa joulutu. Se tulee varmaan tekemään. Minä lähden pois. Paino helvetti. Mä kyllä ens kyrväs. No ei jaksa kattoo sun naamaa. Mä kyllä ens kyrväs hyyn. Vitu mulla. No ei jaksa kattoo sun naamaa.
en jaksa katsoa sun naamaa.
segue que corta isso.